5.3 derivative of exponential function. So y is equal to e power x. The derivative of exponential function is itself. y prime is e to the power of x, right? But when the base is something else, like let's say two, we have two power x. So again, the derivative gonna be itself, but you have to multiply by the ln of the base. Here, the ln of the e is one. That's why you don't see that there. But the general formula for the y equal to b to the power of x is y prime is b power x ln of the base. Example, y, 3 power x, the y prime is 3 power x ln of the base, which is ln of 3. So find the equation of the line tangent to the curve, where function is y equal to 2 e power x. And I want to find the equation of the tangent line at, at x equal to ln 3. So I need to find the slope. I know that the derivative of the e power x is itself. 2 e power x, you keep the constant, you take a derivative of e power x, which is that. Then uh, at point ln 3, and instead of the x, you put ln 3, right? e to the power of ln 3, I know is 3. 2 multiplied by 3 is 6. So the slope is 6. Also, the point, I need to have a point, right? The x of that is ln 3. I put that in a y in here in this equation to find a y value. Then e to the power ln 3 is 3, so 3 multiplied by 2 is 6. So this is my point, and this is the slope. I have a slope, and I have point. The general equation y equal to mx plus b. Uh, m, the slope is 6. The x and y is given. The x is ln 3. The y is 6. They just rearranged it for the b. So this one to the other side is negative. So we find b. So after that, you rewrite your equation of the tangent line. mx plus the m was 6, b was 6 minus 6 ln 3. This is the equation of the tangent line. So here's the general way of writing exponential equation. n is amount after time t equal to n0 initial amount. b is the base is exponential grow or decay. And the t is time. Uh, let me erase that. Okay, look at this question. A population of insects triple every week. When you say triple every week, means the base is going to be three. Every week. So this in this equation, what is missing is h. But h is t divided by h. h is the period of the doubling or tripling or, or getting half. Or if this is half, it's going to be half life. Here is that every week. That's why if you want to write the equation, the B is three and H is one week. The H and T has the same unit. If this is in week, the time is going to be in week as well. So I have uh, A equal to A zero. So if the, initially you have 100 insects. This is A zero or N zero. It's three pulling every week divided by one. So now that the unit of the t here is week, then the number of the insect after four weeks. So it means simply instead of a time, you put four, and then you put in your calculator, and you have 8,100 uh, insects after four weeks. How fast is the number of the insect growing? So you just need to take a derivative of that. How fast means instantaneous rate of change. So again, three power t, the derivative of that is itself, multiply by the ln of the base. Initially means when the time is zero. Instead of the t, we put zero. Use a calculator, we find the number of instances. Um, at the end of four weeks, again, the rate at the end of four weeks means instead of the time here, we put four. Use a calculator to find the number of instances. Uh, there is a worksheet associated with that. So here is the 
you can uh, try to do in one A, B, and C. Um, question number six, you can do question number eight and nine. 